on YouTube. Uh, today we're going to do a Teach It Tuesday and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to carpet this box, every side of this box to where it looks seamless. Alright, so I just cut the carpet for the size that I need and with this carpet you always need to pay attention to what's the front and what's the back. So there's not a big difference but if you can zoom in you can see the difference between the backing and the front. This would be the back. This is the front. So you'll want to make sure you have that right, first of all. So let's flip it over. The way that I do this, some other people may have different ways of doing this, but I'm going to show you the way that I do it. Because I, I was taught this way a long time ago by a good friend of mine. I just call him Double D, and it's a him, not a her. So, I start with the box, with the carpet halfway down the back side of the box. And I'm going to roll it up like this, and then I'm going to glue, spray glue on this, and spray glue on this. And then now I'll start the wrapping technique. So let me get my spray gun. Alright, here we go. Very easy technique to learn to do. You let that tack up for just a second. All right. So we take it and <coughs> fold it. Just give it a little pull, that way you know it's good and tight. Rub it down. That way it's stuck good. We're going to pull the whole thing over a little bit and then lay it down. Next step is basically glue this side, glue this side, and glue the rest of the carpet. So I'm going to do that now. <coughs> give that just a second to let it tack up because the glue works best when it's a little tacky. If it's too wet and you stick it together, it'll just come right apart. You don't want that to happen, right? Especially in Texas. So, all we do, we do basically do the same thing. We're just going to fold it over. Go over again. Take the rest of it. Make sure there's no wrinkles in it. Stick this side down and just glue it all the way to the edge of this, this carpet right here. I know it's not a straight line, it's not perfect, but we're going to fix that in just one second. Make sure there's no wrinkles in it. Make sure it's glued down good. Next thing we're going to do is get a straight edge. You're going to have to come on this side. Okay, so here's where the other carpet is. So we're going to take this straight edge, and we're going to cover both pieces of carpet. So it's right here. Get it to where it looks 
parallel with the box. Get you a fresh blade. And we're going to cut it. back. Peel this off. Turn it around. And do the same thing to this side. Get all the excess out of the way. Take your carpet and gently lay it down. And that's the bottom side of the box. Seam pretty much hides itself. You like that? Here comes the fun part. So for the sides, this is what we're going to do. Before I cut anything, I'm going to go ahead and spray glue on the sides. So once you get your glue sprayed on your sides, or if you already have your glue sprayed on your sides, you can cut the carpet. So you're going to take the carpet about an inch, inch and a half off the edge of the box, and that's where you're going to cut. And then all the way down to the bottom edge about right there. Do that to both sides. Right about to the bottom. Then you can take your carpet and cut your excess off. Now you have just what's hanging over the box and the flap. So now what we're going to do is you're going to take this and just bring it up to this top flap, press it on the side of the box, make sure it sticks. And once you get it to the flap, you want to try to keep the carpet off the edge of the box, just right at the corner. And then you want to take your fingers and pinch the carpet right at the corner of the box all the way around. Just 
make sure that the carpet actually sticks really good to itself as much on the edge of the box as possible. All right, and once you get that done, you need some good, good scissors, so always make sure you have some good scissors because you're going to cut that edge. And pretty much, you're just laying your scissors right on the corner of that box and cutting. And then that's the small seam that it leaves. And you don't want to cut too much like I just did. little bit of wood showing right here but you can take the carpet's real forgiving you take your knife pick it up a little bit and just give it a little stretch to hide the seam Pull it up a little bit, just a slight stretch, and glue it back down. And this is the bottom of the box, so none of that would be seen anyway. One more corner to go. repeat for the other side. So we'll turn the box around and we'll go ahead and do it to the other side of the box.
box is done. There's no X's. A lot of people will X and fold everything over. There's no X's on there. You have to look at it super close to see a seam. All six sides have been wrapped. So put it in the vehicle, whoever pulls it out. Next time they work on it, they see that the box is completely wrapped. They know that that person took time to actually care what their product looks like. So if you find this video to be a help, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications. Until then, always share your knowledge.